Welcome to the game show, Everything or Nothing. If you have watched our last show, then you will know our contestant Zafar had to go home with nothing. Well, I hope on this show, somebody goes home with everything. Well, we will see. Now, you at home, yes you, if you want to participate in Everything or Nothing, you can. Don't feel shy. Get in touch with us. You are using the contact details below on the screen. Yes, below on the screen here. Contact us and you can be participating on the game show, Everything or Nothing. Now, before we get on with the show, here are the rules. The rules of the game. First, the luck and wit round. The contestants will answer a multiple choice general knowledge question. If they get the question right, they go to the guessing wall where their luck will be tested. The first card will be revealed to them and the rest they have to guess. At the guessing wall, contestants will have to complete their row of cards one at a time by guessing if the next card in the series is higher or lower than the previous number on the card. Now, let's meet our contestant for this show. Hi, um, your name and where are you from? My name is Sheikh Nurul Islam, I'm from Ilford. Okay, Sheikh Nurul Islam, tell us a bit about yourself. Right, I'm a cultural activist, actor, I'm involved uh, in so many cultural uh, organizations. Well, you, the, the, there was a um, um, theatre show um, last um, I think it was on closing ceremony on last weekend. Season of Bangla drama. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And I had some good reviews um, on, on that um, theatre show. So, what was your character in that show? He's, I was a father of jihadis. Okay. It's actually based uh, on uh, our community uh, show in uh, our children going to Syria yes. by nothing and they disappear from our home. We don't know where they're going, who taking them. Yes. So this is the main actually issue. So it's a very hard hitting issue. Yeah. So um, for, for, for that reason, I'm, I'm, I hope you have tackled, addressed the issue, tackled the issue and come up with a solution yeah. in your show. You have. Yeah, okay. Hopefully, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Your name and where you're from and tell us a bit, of, bit, bit about yourself. I'm Shah Shwehel Amin. Um, I live in Bo, East London. And I'm a writer as well as presenter of a TV channel. Okay. And uh, what type of writer are you? I mean, um, fiction, non-fiction? Uh, I do write uh, mainly songs and poems and sometimes stories as well. Songs and poems? Yeah. Tell, tell, tell us a poem. Poem, I, ca I can tell you a poem as well, but I have to get my phone in my hand. <laughs> so, you know, it's... <laughs> so, um, you write your poems, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't remember what you've written. I, I, can't, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I don't know what, what kind of poet you're going to be. So uh, I don't see uh, much future in uh, you as a poet, I'm afraid. And if I, do, if I was a poet... You do acting as well. Yeah, I've seen him on screen. I'm sure uh, audiences out there recognise. He's a popular face on television. Yeah. But I don't think you'll make it as a poet. I mean, if, if <laughs> I was a poet, I would know all my poems by heart. Uh, I, I don't think it's right because sure. what I write, it comes, it's just, it comes from, from the top. So obviously, I don't, I don't I keep it in my... So it comes from the top and yeah. it just vanishes just... After the show. It, it yeah. just goes. It goes, goes away and it just vanishes. <laughs> oh well, yeah. um, mm -hmm. I hope you can catch one day and, and keep it to yourself. <laughs> Definitely. Your name, uh, young man, and uh, where are you from? Uh, my name is Nahid Rahman. I'm from Loughborough. Um, I'm a university student at the moment. I, I like the way you said, uh, Nahid, Nahid Rahman. What's <laughs> <laughs> the Arabic accent you got there? So, well, that's how you pronounce it. So, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, well, excellent. Well, mm. welcome to the show. Thank and you. Um, and t t tell us um, a bit about yourself. Well, what do you do? I'm a university student right now. Okay. Um, doing mechanical engineering, okay. second year. Hopefully, you know, that's very do something in engineering in the future. Well, that sounds very interesting. Where well, you plan? Well, you plan to build flying machines? Um, Wherever the, the, you know, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck, right? Right, your, your name and uh, where are you from? Panim uh, Chowdhury. I live in Stratford, East London. Okay, and, and what do you do, Panim? I'm a financial consultant uh, for small businesses. Well, excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show and thank all you. the best and good luck to everybody. Now you have met all the contestants, let's get cracking with the show. 
Nurul Islam, are you ready? Yes, sir, ready. All right, here it goes. Now, which country used to be called Persia? A, Iran, B, Iraq, or C, Afghanistan? Which country used to be called Persia? Iran, Iraq, or Afghanistan? Iran. Iran. Well, Nur Islam, you're right. Right, 11. Now you have to guess the next card, higher or lower? Go for lower. Lower. Nur Islam is guessing it's lower and it's lower. Well Now, Shah Suhel, poet Shah Suhel, yes. did you manage to remember anything yet? Yes, I can tell you if you want, I can read a poem for you and for your audience. Oh, you have remembered something. I, I can magically, I can read something. <laughs> well, please do, yeah, let's, okay. let's hear it. Thank you. Uh, Amar Ekta, uh, recent Kavita Likha, Chha Bangladesh, Jai Shomosha, Shongkha Logu, Shongkha, গরিষ্ঠতা নিয়ে কবিতাটির নাম হচ্ছে আমাকে রাজ্য দেয়া হোক আমাকে একবার শাসন ক্ষমতা দেয়া হোক আমাকে বাংলাদেশের শাসন ক্ষমতা দেয়া হোক আমাকে রাজতন্ত্রের প্রয়োগে রাজা করা হোক আমাকে স্বৈরতন্ত্রে উজ্জীবিত করা হোক আমি নির্দ্বিধায় মায়ের মতো পবিত্র দেশ দেব সুস্থ সবল জাতি এবং জাতীয় পতাকা দেব আমি কৃষকের নীল এবং সোনালী খেতের মূল্য দেব ভোরের সূর্য ভ্রমণের পর এক মুঠো ভাতের ব্যবস্থা করে দেব অভিধান থেকে সংখ্যা লঘু এবং সংখ্যা গরিষ্ঠদের বাদ দেব মালাউন এবং মুসলমানের সমজাত দেব ধন্যবাদ And I have to take that phone, by the way. Uh, yes, I can get, but, get the phone. But you, you bought the phone. Can I have the phone? You please? can take the phone. Yes. I, I thought you haven't seen the phone. And, and, and for that, um, I will have to uh, disqualify one, one of your round, basically. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now tell me another poem. No? I, I, I have to create one. Yeah. I thought so. I thought so. So, anyway, let's <laughs> get on with the show. But it was a very nice poem. Thank, Thank you, you for Shasha. giving me chances. Yeah. Yeah. You see, on everything or nothing. Yeah. It's either everything Thank or nothing. Or nothing. Yeah. So, um, now, let's see if we can guess this right. I see. Um, okay. What is the largest continent on Earth? Is it A, Africa? Is it B, Asia? Or is it C, North America? What is the largest continent on Earth? It's North America. It's North America? It is. Oh, sorry, North America. No, what did you no, say? No, no, no. No, you, you said it already. <laughs> so, I, I think the I largest know. continent on Earth. I can't do that, you see. You, you, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the nice. whole idea, you see. Whole idea, yes. You take your time and you answer it carefully. You can't just say, and... and and retract it, you can't do chance. that. I think you should, for the first time, you should, <laughs> I should get a chance. Well, I would have. Judy, Monte ki Judy kunu kovita shunai da amar ke, amader ke, ta ami chance diye tam. If the Monte ki dono, you have to give it off the phone, so you don't get a chance. I can say, I can say a few lines. I'm afraid, Shashwil, North America, is not the largest country in the world. It's Asia. Put this in your pocket. <laughs> I don't want to see this phone anymore. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Nahid Rahman. Which reptile camouflages itself by changing its color? Is it A, salamander? Is it B, chameleon? Or is it C, Komodo dragon? Chameleon. It seems like you're so sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You're pretty sure? Mm. 
young people nowadays too smart. <laughs> yes, you're right. All right, Nahid, your first card. 15. Now, guess what? Now, since your card is 15, the number we have is 1 to 15. So this is the highest card. So you get the next card without guessing. Mm. So it's 13. You get to guess on the next round, if you get your answer right. Do you get time to watch movies? Sometimes. Sometimes you do. OK. Now, let's see how much you know about movies. In the Bourne film starring Matt Damon, what is Bourne's first name? A, David. B, Jason. Or C, James. Jason. Jason. Yep. So you do get time. I used to. You used to get time. Yep. Were you just, were you used to, like, not work and just watch movies or? I used to watch uh, a lot of movies. Used to watch a lot of movies. But, uh, but you don't watch any movies anymore. No, I think I need to get myself registered in Netflix again. Okay, all right then. Well, correct. Right. <coughs> Your first number is seven. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower. You know, seven is a quite tricky number. It's sort of in between. Yeah, lower. L lower? Yeah. And it's... Oh, I'm sorry, I have to change the card. Lord Islam, it's your turn again. Now, tell me, how many sides does an octagon have? A, six, B, seven, or C, eight? How many sides does an octagon have? Six, seven, or eight? I think eight. You think eight or you know it's eight? Eight. Eight. Correct. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, your previous card was four. Higher or lower? Go for higher. Higher? Yeah. Nurul Islam is guessing it's higher. Let's find out if it's higher or lower. It's... Ah! Oh, I'm afraid it's lower. <laughs> Changing card. The cheating poet. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you for another poem. I know you're going to pull your phone out again and I have to confiscate Even your phone. the phone, so, yeah. yes. So now, tell me. Which Italian city is best known for men's fashion? A. Milan, B. Venice, or C. Rome? What Italian city is best known for men's fashion? Milan, Venice, or Rome? Rome. Rome is known for men's fashion. Now, where would you find fashion houses in Rome? Have you been to Rome? I haven't been, no. So how do you know it's wrong? I know this is there. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> poet, Shuel, you're wrong. <laughs> it's Milan. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, night. <clears throat> What does the E in email stand for? A, envelope, B, electronic, or C, easy? Electronic. God, you don't waste time, do you? <laughs> you don't even think of the answer. You just, <laughs> the second time you've done that. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Thank you. OK, your last card was 13. Mm -hmm. Higher or lower? I'm going for lower. Lower. Mm. Very confidently you, you're going for lower. <laughs> As if you know the card numbers. Huh? <laughs> hey, it's lower. Well done. Oh, that's well done. <clears throat> <laughs> the 
<laughs> Next question. Go on. I hope you have been watching a lot of films. <laughs> Seems like you're getting all the movie questions. Okay. <clears throat> what is Bruce Wayne's secret identity? A. The Hulk. B. Superman. Or C. Batman. What is Bruce Wayne's secret identity? The Hulk, Superman, or Batman? Batman. Batman. Correct. Your first card was set. Yeah. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower, and it's lower. Well done. Everything or nothing. Brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Everything or nothing. Brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Lord Islam, you're the most oldest and wisest. Yeah. Here. <laughs> been to? Have you been to USA? No. You haven't been to USA. You've seen movies, haven't you? Yeah. New York City, the movies. Yeah. Something is, is very prominent if you, if you watch um, a movie which is based in New York. Now, this relates to the question which I'm okay. about to ask you. What distinct color is a New York taxi? Is it A, black, is it B, yellow, or is it C, orange? Yellow. So you have noticed. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, your number was four. Higher or lower? Higher. Higher? Yeah. Nurul Islam is guessing it's higher. It's higher! Oh. Well done! It's <laughs> me again. I don't know what to say. This will have to be lucky. <laughs> but let's hope so, let's hope so. <clears throat> What TV character's catchphrase is eat my shorts? A. Basil Brush B. Bart Simpson or C. Postman Pat What TV character's catchphrase is eat my shorts? Do you know what I'm saying? It's like that character always says eat my shorts. So which character is it? Basil Brush, Bart Simpson or Postman Pat? Postman Pat. Postman Pat says eat mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. It's it's really wrong. wrong. Not Postman Pat. Says, oh. I want to keep all the, my. The, the fans of Postman Pat are really crying. Yeah. <laughs> We're really crying now. I want to keep my older numbers white. Oh, yeah. That's why. You want to keep it the way it is. You like the color white. No? I think you're doing well. In that case, you're doing quite well. Yeah, yeah. Naid Now, for the sake of television drama, you yeah, take a little bit of time to answer the next question. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Although it seems like it's fixed or something. No, yeah? No, all right. All right. <clears throat> in cricket, mm -hmm. how many balls are in an over? A, three. B, six, or C, nine. How many balls are in over in cricket? Three, six, or nine? I'm going to go for six. Six. Mm. For the sake of drama, yeah. you're right. <laughs> okay, last number was six. Now, this is a very tricky number. Mm. Higher or lower? I'm going to go for higher. You're going to go for higher. We had many contestants um, failing on, on, on this particular number, six, seven, they, they, they have yeah. been failing. It's, it is a number in between, so, so you're, you're guessing it's higher. Yeah. Nahid Roman is guessing it's higher. higher. And it's... Oh. oh, dear. Well, it happens to everybody. Yeah. Chris Kringle is an alternate name for who? A. Peter Pan, B, Robin Hood, or C, Santa Claus. You do celebrate Christmas, I hope. No, I guess I'm going to have to do it this year for the sake of this question. Yes, <laughs> seems like it. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. 
Chris Kringle is an alternate name for who? A. Peter Pan, B. Robin Hood, C. Santa Claus, and you saying it's Santa Claus. And you are, seems like you, well, it's, it's always good to celebrate any occasion. But without celebrating Christmas, as you, I, I'm glad that you haven't celebrated Christmas, have you? you ha have you, have you not? Uh, hardly, In yes, the past. with friends. Uh, well, yes, you have. Okay, then. Good, well, you're right. It is good. The number was four. Higher or lower? Uh, I'm going to go for higher. Higher. Talib is guessing higher and it's higher. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Islam. Give me an easy question. <laughs> it, this is easy. <laughs> this is as easy as easy. it can get. Oh. Can't get any easier than that. Let's try, yeah. Because if you don't get this right, that that means you you you, <laughs> you don't you don't belong in television. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope you get it right. Yeah. Which British TV soap features the Bill and Mitchell families? Is it A. Coronation Street, B. Em Emmerdale, or C. EastEnders? Which British TV soap features the Beal and Mitchell families. Coronation Street, Emmerdale, or EastEnders? Coronation Street. Coronation Street. Um, Nur Islam, I'm afraid you are Wrong. <laughs> You're banned. You're officially Band? banned. Yes. Officially banned. It's, it's EastEnders. EastEnders. Mitchell families. Bill families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was addicted yeah. at the point. I was, I was addicted yeah. to EastEnders. I I, I watched. I was confused. Yeah. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> well, sorry isn't going to get you. <laughs> yeah. Isn't going to get the ban lifted. I'm afraid. No problem. <laughs> He's better than me. So. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> now, if the, if you get this answer wrong, Shashwell. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually tell you to leave my show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> you are a writer, yes? A easy one should be. <laughs> this is easy. This easy. Pe uh, look, as I said, if you get this answer wrong, I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll call security. <laughs> uh, actually, the, the, I, we don't have security. I'm gonna call my director, and my producer. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> so. They let you award me. Now, as a writer, as a poet, as a writer, <coughs> it's, it's your obligation to know the answer. Okay? Let's see. Who wrote Harry Potter? A. J.K. Rowling. B. Roald Dahl. C. Suzanne Collins. <coughs> Who wrote Harry Potter? J.K. Rowling, Roald Dahl, or Suzanne Collins? It's three, number three, Susan Collins. Susan Collins. Susan Collins wrote Harry Potter. Which, which, which camera am I on? I'm going to just bang my head on this and, and crack my skull. <laughs> I know where she wrote it, but... <laughs> Charles Will. Can my producer and my director come and escort him out, please? It's J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling wrote Harry Potter. The whole world knows. It's phenomenal. It's the most famous book of our century. Well, it's turning to television. Oh, it's movie now, not television, sorry. Cinema movies. I, I know where she wrote it, that she used to work in the McDonald's and she wrote it there, but I can't remember the name. That's, you can't that's remember. I'm better at him. Because, because yeah. I, I give up. <laughs> See next time, yeah. I give up. Nayir Rahman. <coughs> what <coughs> is the capital city of Wales? A. Dublin. B. Glasgow. Or C. Cardiff. I am going to go for Cardiff. Why are you going to go for Cardiff? Uh, just. Have you been to Cardiff? Nope. You've been to Wales? Nope. 
<laughs> are you just guessing or? Uh, oh yeah, I'm just guessing. You, you don't know, but you know. Well, anyway, you answered the question and you answered it correctly. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so we're stuck in six. Seems like now, Rahman. Okay. Yeah. Higher or lower? I'm gonna go for higher again. Higher. Mm -hmm. Now it is getting higher and it's higher. Well done. Hey. It's not about movies anymore. It's all right. Which British political party's colour is yellow? A. Conservative, B. Lib Dems, or C. UKIP? Lib Dem. Lib Dem. Correct. Twelve was your previous card. Higher or lower? Gonna go for lower. Tanim is guessing it's lower and it's... Oh, oh. <clears throat> it's, it's higher. Change card. Thank you. Lord <coughs> Islam. This is the last chance or even more question? Well, we, we need to finish oh, the, um, yeah. All right. okay. um, the guessing wall, you see. So we'll have, obviously, whoever goes first, then, then second. Try again, okay. Yeah, after we, we're done on this round. Now, what color are the stars on the American flag? A, white, B, blue, or C, red? What color stars? What color are the stars on the American flag? White, blue, or red? White. White. You haven't been to America yet. You know so much about America. It's interesting. Well done. Yes. Oh, thank you. White. Your previous card was 14. Nuramin, higher or lower? Lower. Lower. And it's lower. Well done. Shall I just pass to you all? <laughs> no, no, no. Huh? <laughs> it would have been better if people got to laugh though. I don't think people are laughing. <laughs> I'm just giving people I, I think people are in <laughs> shock. I think they're in shock. Especially the, the, the Harry Potter fans. And, um, and those young children of... Um, um, Part of this film, yeah. Uh, that um, Postman Pat. The young fans of Postman Pat are... They're the petrified. The I think you forgot. Uh, I just I'm yeah, trying to keep cream. my wool same color white. So well, you, well in yeah. that case you so, did quite well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Let's see this Let's one. Let's see yeah. this one. <laughs> Shashil. <laughs> what does the internet acronym NGL stand for? A. Now get lost. B. Not gonna lie. C. New game list. What does the internet acronym NGL stand for? Now get lost. Not gonna lie. New game list. What does actually NGL stand for? I'm gonna go for new game list. See new game list. <laughs> I am a winner. <laughs> you haven't got a single answer right. I suppose I, I want to keep my world same color, so that's why. <laughs> same color. Well, in that case, you're doing a very good job. You're wrong. I don't know why I bother. It's not going to lie. NGL stands for not going to lie. Uh, I don't know what to say. Anyway, um, Nahid, <coughs> which actor plays the lead role in the Mission Impossible franchise? A. Sylvester Stallone, B. Tom Cruise, or C. Matt Damon? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise plays the lead in Mission Impossible mm -hmm. franchise. 
Have you seen all the series, so all, all the films in Mission Impossible Yeah, series? pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Then you know you're right. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Okay, Nahids. Well, you are on your last card. If you guess this right, that means you're going on a second round. Mm -hmm. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Mm. Nahid Rahman is guessing it's lower. Now let's see if it's higher or lower. And it's oh. <laughs> changing card. Tanim. <laughs> In Greek mythology, who is the god of war? A. Eris. B. Zeus or C. Hades? Zeus. Is the god of war. Zeus is the god of war. Yep. Have you studied mythology? Um, no, but I watched a movie. Which movie was that? Troy. Troy. So in Troy, the god of war was Zeus. No, but they were calling Zeus for um, many, in many different times in that war. So because there was war going on and they were calling Zeus and, and, I guess, and, yeah. and you're guessing it, it, it must be Zeus who was uh, God of War. Yeah, I'm going for Zeus. You can go for Zeus. Well, Danim, you're wrong. It's Eris. Eris is the God of War. Right. Uh, Zeus is, is, is a God, basically, the, the king of gods. He, he's, he's the main man. Right. Yeah. God of Thunder. They're God of wrong. Thunder, yes, God of Thunder. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Nur Islam, what fictional creature is said to live under bridges? A. Wendigo, B. Werewolf, or C. Troll? What fictional character is said to live under bridges? Wendigo, werewolf, or troll? Troll. Troll. You have been reading fictional fairy tales, haven't you? Correct. <laughs> you the last card, Nur Islam. Higher or lower? It's quite difficult now. It is. <laughs> Higher or lower? I'm going for lower. Lower. The result is going for lower and it's... Oh! oh last one. Last one. Changing card. Let's keep Shah my... Shuel. <laughs> Let's keep my wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, just make a color. We're doing a great job, as I said earlier, by keeping it white. <coughs> uh, it's going to break records, you know that. It is, I'm thinking. I never had a contestant who had kept his role white. You'll be the first. Yeah. And, um, well, let's see if you can actually keep it white, actually. Let's go for keeping it white, <laughs> in that case. The woodcutter features in which classic fairy tale? The woodcutter features in... Which classic fairy tale is it? A. Cinderella, B. Snow White, or C. Red Riding Hood? Woodcutter. The woodcutter features in which classic fairy tale? Cinderella, Snow White, or Red Riding Hood? Running out of time. Cinderella, Snow White, or Red Riding Hood? Snow White. Snow White. The woodcutter features in features in Snow White. Congratulations. You've managed to keep your <laughs> pro white once again. It's Red Riding Hood. Red. <clears throat> okay, neither one. What country is known for housing the panda? 
Is it A, China, B, Australia, or C, Japan? I'm going to say Japan. Japan is known for housing panda. Mm. Well, I, did. Mm. I have to say that I guess it's wrong. Oh, it's Australia, is it? It's China. China? China, wow. Never mind. <coughs> Next time. Now, Talim, does your work involve um, typing on keyboards? Working with keyboard, computer? Yeah, usually. Usually does. Okay, now, <coughs> let's see how much attention you pay to your keyboard. What letter is located between A and D? Between the letters A and D on a keyboard, is it A, S? Is it B, W? Or is it C, X? What letter is located between the letters A and D on a keyboard? S, W, or X? S. S is located between A and W. Correct. <laughs> the previous card, number was 12. Yeah. Higher or lower? I'm going to go for lower. Lower. And it's lower. Well done. <laughs> now, Guys, the situation is... I'm going to second round, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, you, if you get the question right... Right. And if you guess it wrong... Yeah. Then Tanim goes through automatically because he has one. And after one, I automatically unveil the number. number. I turn the card around so he gets this. He doesn't have to guess higher or lower. He automatically... He, uh, the card will turn around for him. All because right. it's one and obviously it's going to be higher than one. Because the numbers are between 1 and 15. So, your last chance. I'm in dangerous posi position, yeah? Yes, because after you, forget him. <laughs> There's Nahid. <coughs> so, it's, if you don't go through this round, Nahid might go through. And Tani will definitely go through. Okay. Right, now tell me. <coughs> Lord Islam. In the pop group Spy Skills, what nickname did Victoria Beckham have? A. Baby Spice, B, Posh Spice, or C, Scary Spice? Posh Spice. Posh Spice. Yeah. Victoria Beckham had the nickname Posh Spice. Posh spice. Correct. <laughs> Higher or lower? Go for lower. Lower. And it's... Oh, oh God. <laughs> Unlucky. It's not, it's not the right thing. <laughs> <coughs> Unlucky. <laughs> let's, let's see if we can manage to keep the row yeah. white. Huh? <laughs> in... <clears throat> which iconic boxer appeared in the 2009 film, The Hangover. A, Mike Tyson. B, Floyd Mayweather. C, Lennox Lewis. Which iconic boxer appeared in the 2009 film, The Hangover? Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather, or Lennox Lewis? Is it my time? You, time is right. You, you, you're no. taking too much time. It, it, uh... Tell him again. <laughs> Which iconic boxer appeared in the 2009 film <clears throat> The Hangover? Is, is it Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather, or Lennox Lewis? Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis appeared in the film Hangover. Congratulations. You managed to keep your <laughs> row wide Wait, once oh, again. Oh, Hold on. It's Mike Tyson. Oh, I was going to say Tyson. that. I didn't say it. Yeah. I didn't see it. <laughs> Mike Tyson was a common name. But... Well, congratulations. You managed to keep your row white. 
It's yeah. dazzling. Look at that. It's such a bright, bright <laughs> color in between all these colors. It's yeah. it's standing out. So well done, well done. Now you one. In football, how many substitutes are allowed? A three. B four or C five? I'm gonna go for a three. Three substitu substitutes are allowed. Mm -hmm. So in football, three substitutes are allowed, and you said it's three. Correct. <laughs> Naid. Thank you. Your card was nine. Higher or lower? I'm going for lower again. Lower. Yeah. Naid is going for lower, and it's lower. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. You're going to the second round. <laughs> Tanim, another political question. These are the film or political questions you're getting. Now, Tanim, tell me, who was the first female Prime Minister of Great Britain? A. Theresa May, B. Margaret Thatcher, or C. Diane Abbott? Was the first female Prime Minister. You know, if you get this question right, you automatically go to second round. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. So you are going for Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. You're hundred percent confident it's Margaret Thatcher. Hundred percent. I'll give you another chance. No, it's all right. You're gonna stick to Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. The first female Prime Minister of Great Britain, Tanim, you answered it's Margaret Thatcher. Actually, it's, it is Margaret Thatcher. Well done. Um, your card, your previous card was one. So automatically, I'll unveil it, I'll turn it around, it's two. Right. So congratulations, you've automatically gone to the second round. Well done. Thank you. Welcome to the round two of Everything or Nothing. It's a darts round. We have Nahid Rahman and we have Tanim Choudhury. First, Nahid Rahman gets his chance to throw darts and achieve the highest point. Nahid, please come. Your right foot on, on the, yep, there and hear the darts and that's darts board and try to get the highest number. Five. Six. Seven. Five, six, and seven, the total number is 18. Tanim, can I have you here? Yeah. The darts, the dartboard. Let's see if we can get more than 18. Yes. Eight. Eight. Seven. Eight, eight, seven. And the total score is 23. Nahid, round two. Five. Six. Five. You just scored 16. Altogether, you have 34. Tanim. Nine. Seven. Nine. Scored 25, all together is 48. So congratulations, you go on to the final round. Welcome to the final rounds of Everything or Nothing. We have 
Tanim Choudhury as the finalist on our show here. Now, let's see if he goes home with everything or leaves with nothing like a previous contestant. Tanim, welcome to the final round. Thank you. Now, you know the rules. Here are the cards. I'm going to first turn the card over, first card over, and the rest you have to guess. On each of the guests you get right, obviously you win your prize. Yeah? Your first card, five. Higher or lower? I'm going to go for lower. Lower. Tanim is guessing it's lower. And it's higher. Ooh. Tanim, that means you're going home with nothing. You guessed it wrong. Your first card is wrong, yes. You played so well. You came all the way to the finals. And on your first card, you have to go home empty-handed, I'm afraid. Thank you very much for trying. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like we have another contestant going home with nothing. Well, that's the game, I'm afraid. You got either go home with everything or leave with nothing. Tanim is going home with nothing. He played really well, but unfortunately, because he guessed the number wrong, the first card, he got it wrong. He couldn't go any further. So he's leaving with nothing. Well, I hope to see you all on our next show, and let's hope and pray our next contestant on our next show goes home with everything. See you soon. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services.